And now we have reached our main event. Roman Reigns, Bobby Roode. It's going to be a hell of a match, but you already know. It's going to be the World Heavyweight Champion that comes out on top. Yeah, I really... You know what I really feel bad about, though? If you really think about it, I remember way back when... I think it was either 2K17 or 2K18 that uh, Bobby Roode debuted on um, in WWE Games. And I said on Twitter, I said, Bobby Roode, guaranteed EBCW champion or World Heavyweight champion, whichever champion was going to you know be there. And I have not made good on that promise. <laughs> it just seems like he's been jobbing out the guys for no reason. I mean, he's had some decent matches here and there. I mean, I believe he was a, he did compete for the Intercontinental title at one point in time, but that's about as much as I remember. So, I don't know about this, man. I really don't. I forgot to mention, by the way, as this episode as these as these episodes of Nitro have gone down, we are not only on the road to uh Extreme Rules, and we all know Extreme Rules is going to be hell of a pay-per-view because it's going to be all about extreme things, but I have almost forgot, and I've been keeping track, that uh, we're almost on the road to 100 episodes. This would be the second time ever that EBCW hits 100 episodes, and that uh, started last year with 2K19, and we made it to like 124 or something like that, last I checked, so... We are almost there, guys. And, of course, uh, whoever, whatever episode ends up on there, we're going to have a very special match. It could be a title match. It could be anything. And uh, it's going to end up on Raw. So odds are it's going to be a title match. So I need to find a, a suitable contender or contenders to face Kofi Kingston for the EBCW Championship. And now here comes the glorious one. And still has one of the greatest theme songs in all of wrestling. I don't care what anybody says. It's glorious. Hallelujah, everybody. As I can hear the commentary team in my headset. I, got, I, I like that robe. You know, I think one year he had the blue robe. One year he had the, uh, the white robe. And I dig this one. I really dig... The uh, the red robe on Bobby Roode. Although I hate what they did to him after the main roster because I I've, I've always been a big Bobby Roode fan, especially in TNA. He did a great job with the uh, you know when he was TNA champion, beer money, all that shit. He came to NXT and it was fucking incredible. Uh, it was probably one of the best runs in NXT at that time, in my honest opinion. And uh, they fucked him up on the main roster. It just he, he didn't mean anything anymore. He just went straight to Jobber, you know? It sucks, because again, if you watch TNA stuff, especially anything from like when he was w the first time he won the World Heavyweight Championship, all the way until he left, I mean, he was doing nothing but pretty good stuff. You know? Hell, they even re he even reformed Beer Money with uh, James Storm. And now James Storm, for whatever reason, is NWA Tag Team Champions with uh, Eli Drake. And uh, If you don't watch NWA, though, check out NWA. I think Rob Bobby Roode would do a good job in, like, other promotions if he ever left WWE. Like, you know, there's NWA for him. There's... I don't want to say AEW because AEW does... I don't think suits him. Big clothesline there to start the match. Uh, he could always go back to Impact. Which I would prefer, personally. We'll see what happens. I mean, right now, in this point in time, I can't really recall... I mean, I'm kind of grooming a couple of contenders for the World Heavyweight Championship. And odds are there's, it's going to be a triple threat match uh, against who, you won't know. But if Bobby Roode pins Roman Reigns here, which I'm going to try not to let that happen at this point in time, there's a good chance that it could be a fatal four-way. But you don't know, the, and he'll be the only other contender you know about. Wow, he fucking reversed that? Damn, Bobby Roode came out to play, man. Bobby Roode came to play. 
He wants he he fucking wants some, dude. He wants to get a top spot here in EBCW. He heard that I promised him a world heavyweight championship, and uh, he's not happy that I have not delivered on said world heavyweight championship. So he's coming after the the big man, Roman Reigns. Of course, we all know Roman Reigns won. Oh shit, pinfall, kick out. As I was saying. We all know Roman Reigns won the World Heavyweight Championship from Goldberg way back when at Money in the Bank. In a uh, very good match, the Battle of the Spears, to see who would, first, basically the first guy to hit the spear was basically the winner, if you ask me. And Roman Reigns, I think, was the first guy. Wow, he fucking beat me again? Robert, Bobby Roode out here, man. He is, he's gloriously savage today. He's got, he's got some fight in him. Reversal there by Roman Reigns. Yo, Bobby Roode's coming out to fight, man. I, I I highly appreciate a man that makes it difficult for me when it comes to, like, for good reason. Like, you know, jobber matches and they're, like, 20 minutes long. I don't fuck with that shit. Like I was saying in the last episode, like how they make, how this game randomly assigns matches to be harder than they have to be. Oh shit. Was this? Oh, TKO! The TKO! Big clothesline again because that's apparently all I can do to get some separation between us. Oh, the resistance is futile. Or should I say, resistance is futile. Bobby Roode, and he's just embarrassing me. He is strutting all over me, this guy. This is the Bobby Roode I knew in NXT. This is the Bobby Roode I like. Throw him into the ring apron for good measure, because why the fuck not? Oh, fuck. I should have hit that. Big Superman punch, because fuck you. Separate himself from the ref a little, a little bit. I don't know why, but sometimes the fucking characters like automatically try and go after the referee and try and make him go after it, and the ref stops his count. You know, I don't like that shit. Oof, big power slam there by Bobby Roode. I think they implemented that in last year's game, and I, I started, they started to implement it, and I was not a fan. I don't remember go pressing any buttons, but apparently Roman Reigns has a mind of its own. Spear! Let's watch that beautiful spear again. It might be a rope break, I won't be surprised, but... I don't know what it is, but like, you watch a Roman Reigns spear, and for some reason it just looks broken. Like, something about it just looks off. One, two, and Bobby Roode kicks out of the spear. I should have realized how much health he had left. Stupid me. I gotta say, man, Bobby Roode has really stepped up, man. Usually I see him get squashed a lot of the time. I mean, we've seen him... Oh, shit. We've seen him in matches against guys over the years, like guys like... Uh, I think Buddy Murphy was one of the matches he was in or something at one point in time. I don't know if I recorded it, but... He's taken on guys such as Matt Awesome and, and lost. Now he's sick of losing. Nice reversal there by, Bob, by uh, Roman Reigns. The World Heavyweight Champion is not going down without a fight, ladies and gentlemen. I can tell you that much. Stun gun. Uh, let's go for the corner one, because it doesn't work all the time when I'm running with it. Let's see if that works. Superman punch. And for good measure... Let's go for the corner spear, shall we? He doesn't know it's going to hit him, Bobby. Thank you. Goodbye. It was nice. It was nice while you were here, but you can't stay. Get the fuck out. One, two, three. And that, while the result may have been the same, it was still... Very competitive. And you know what? I appreciate when, you know, peop when uh, characters in this game give me a competitive matchup when it calls for it. 
And Bobby Roode, very early on, kept this match competitive up until about the point where we where uh, we took it to the outside. I'd say that was the beginning of the end for one Bobby Roode. But ladies and gentlemen, as we move ever closer to episode 100 and, and Extreme Rules, as I said, there are a few people that are being groomed to become number one contender. And let me tell you, when you find out who they are, the only thing that comes to mind is going to be Carnage, because that's exactly what that championship match is going to come down to, and that is Carnage. And who knows? Maybe plans could change, but I highly doubt it. With that being said, I'm glad you guys can spend your days with me here on this Friday morning, or whenever you're watching this, because that's when I upload it, Friday mornings. And I, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good day, and peace out.